What's up YouTube? My name is JR Smith and on this channel I'm going to be sharing with you my journey to becoming a doctor. But first, I want to share with you my story of how a former Division I track and field athlete became fixated on medicine. Stay tuned. So growing up, sports were a huge part of my life and like many of my peers, I thought one day when I would grow up I'd be a professional athlete maybe in the NBA, making millions of dollars playing basketball. Unfortunately, my hoop dreams didn't come to fruition, but I did find my calling on the track. And in high school, I had a successful track and field career to the point where I was fortunate enough to continue competing in college where I went to Duke University. So when I arrived to Duke, I think I approached um, going to Duke very differently than a lot of the other students there. I really appreciated the fact that Duke was great in both sports and academics, but I went there particularly because I thought it would be the best fit to both prepare me athletically and then also give me something to fall back on in the case that my sports career didn't pan out the way that I planned on. And to make my track and field career as successful as possible, I planned on taking the easiest classes, majoring in the easiest major, not doing any extracurricular activities so that all of my time could be focused on the track and focused on developing into the athlete that I wanted to become. And at that time, I was thinking I'd be entering the Olympics in 2020 not medical school but then i got hurt really bad so i ended up completely dislocating my knee which i would later find out is a pretty severe injury no god please no no in this second meet of my collegiate career where i was planning on making a statement I ended up being dragged out of the sand by my teammates, tossed on a gurney, and rushed to the hospital via ambulance. So, not the greatest start to my track career. When I arrived to the hospital, which was my first time being in a hospital in an emergency type of situation, the doctors determined that I tore all four stabilizing ligaments, so my ACL, CL, PCL, and MCL. I tore my lateral meniscus, I ripped the hamstring off of the bone, and I sustained a fracture to my femur. So all of that is just to say, hurt myself real bad. But apparently, all of that wasn't the primary cause of concern. I don't know how all of that wasn't cause for concern, but I guess my physicians were primarily worried that these nerves and arteries in the back of my knee could have sustained damage and if the damage to these nerves and arteries is significant enough, then the risk for leg amputation comes up. But my artery survived. And although I did have damage to my nerve, they determined that this may not be a long-term issue and that the nerve has the capacity to heal and recover. And when my orthopedic surgeon brought me this great news, he also brought with him a sense of determination to return me to the track. And in my mind, at the time, I was not thinking that was even an option. I was thinking that was the end of my career. I'm thankful that I can at least have a leg still and don't have to go through amputation. But the motivation that my surgeon had really impacted me personally and kind of reinstilled a sense of motivation and drive that I felt like I had lost at the time. And so after a successful surgery, I began an 18 month physical therapy regimen with hopes of making a comeback on the track.
And so after my physical therapy, I was not only able to return to the track and join my teammates my junior year, but I was granted the role of the team captain by my coaches and teammates my senior year. I was also awarded the Comeback Athlete of the Year Award by the athletic department who put together this incredible tribute. Um, knowing that he came back from such a traumatic injury um, means that a lot of us uh, make a lot less excuses for some of the things that we do. Um, and so like, you know, when you're like feeling tired in a workout or uh, whatever the case may be, you just think about JR and his injury and all he had to do to get back and the sacrifices he had to make for his injury. Um, his injury was really severe and it was pretty traumatic the way it happened. Um, a lot of the kids saw it happen and knew how serious it was. He uh, completely destroyed his, his knee, tore most of the ligaments in it. Um, and the doctors weren't sure if he was ever going to be able to compete again. Just seeing him back out there practice and his energy and his uh, spirit, he's a really uh, fun going guy, laughs a lot. You know, people, everyone on the team really feeds off of his energy. So um, it's been great having him back out there and he's, you know, come back stronger and faster in a lot of ways than he was before and pushing a lot of the guys on the team. So it's been really good to have him back. I think uh, what makes JR so special is um, his character is really, really strong and he takes everything he does seriously. He has a strong faith and he really, really like takes that in, uh, in everything he does and tries to spread his personality and upbeat personality to everyone else. Jero's a great kid. He has a very high character. Um, I've been able to talk to him a lot outside of practice and get to know him a lot through his injury because you know, I wasn't able to see him practice as much. So we were able to connect a little more there. And, and he's a great kid. Um, everybody on the team really respects him and his character. Um, he's definitely top match. So. Now I'm not saying any of this or showing these videos to toot my own horn about my comeback because this experience didn't just show me what I was personally capable of but it revealed to me the impact, the vast impact that medicine can have on people's lives. And if being a doctor will allow me to have a similar impact on the lives of others that my doctor had on mine, I will find nothing more fulfilling in a career. My doctor and physical therapist didn't only give me the ability to return to daily activities and save my legs so that I could walk again. They didn't only give me the capacity to return to doing something that I love, they reinvigorated a sense of hope and drive and motivation. I carried this determination not only onto the track, but into the classroom as a newly invested pre-medical student. I ended up graduating with distinction by writing an honors thesis, and I started work as a research assistant in a sports medicine clinic. And now I'm going through the stressful and arduous process of applying for medical school. And through my journey thus far, my passion for medicine has only gone up. I hope that knowing my story makes following my journey that much more meaningful. So hit that subscribe button and tap that bell because new videos will be coming every week and you won't want to miss one. Keep evolving and I'll see you guys soon. Just landed in Minneapolis, uh, MSP airport. The journey begins.